Um, good memories, to be honest, especially uh, especially this last year. You know, I've had some very good moments and also some very difficult moments at this track in my early career. And uh, considering I've only been at this track maybe the same amount of time as my competitors, it's my home track, but I never raced there until I was in, uh, in Grand Prix. So I've had some fantastic results there and being my favorite track is, uh, is always such a nice time to be there. <laughs> Um, this was the first time I ever went uh, fishing with my family on, uh, on the property where I grew up and I learned to ride a bike uh, more or less on, on this land here. And uh, you know, fishing was from that moment on a, quite a big part of my life. You know, In the early years I didn't get to do so much but now I try and do as much as I can. And uh, this was actually quite a, uh, one of my biggest fish until recently in, in this breed in Rainbow Trout. I think it was more or less two kilos, and uh, it's, it's, it was quite difficult now to, uh, to arrive to that, uh, that level. So it was uh, a very good fish, and it was my fourth birthday. <laughs> Here's another one. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, we'd just been out fishing uh, most of the morning, and of course, you know, it gets hot in the, in the middle of the day, and so we brought the boat up into the, into the shore. The tide went out, so we couldn't take the boat out anymore. So uh, when we were sitting there for the lunch, I put the, the rod back out in the water, and uh, and just waited uh, and relaxed in the boat. So, you know, it's always nice to be on the water for me and especially in Australia, you know, we get such good weather, such good opportunities. It's, um, it's really nice. Here's another one. Um, this was my, my first road racing bike. Um, you know, it was a Morawaki GP80 Honda. And it was, uh, you know, it was a small category that you could race when you were 14 years old in Australia. And this was actually a, a, a big part in my career because this category, I was, uh, I had the license, I had the correct age to race in, but they were trying to stop me from racing. Some of the people who were running this category in Australia, because I was uh, very competitive in dirt track, and I, this was the same people I was racing in this category, they never allowed me to to enter the race. So. This is when we decided to go to England uh, to start my road racing and then the next year I went to Spanish Championship and the next year was, was Grand Prix. So this is uh, this was a big part in, in my career, the fact that uh, I needed to to move overseas to to give myself an opportunity to, to race in road racing because uh, we didn't get the opportunity in Australia. Uh, this one I was, was eight years old uh, or nine, I don't remember exactly and yeah, for, uh, for a resume, we, we went and put everything together and, and uh, put all our trophies, all the bikes that we had at the time together for a resume to try and uh, get sponsors, you know, to help us through because, you know, we didn't uh, have a lot of money. We struggled to race. We had old bikes, but uh, always my father kept them going and uh, it was enough for us to, to win a lot of races. So this was uh, some of the rewards that we had in, in those seasons, but something very disappointing when we went uh, away for two years. Uh, when we came back and to, to take all the trophies from the boxes, uh, we had the termites eat all the trophies. So we had, I think, uh, more than 1,000 trophies destroyed because of the, the termites. So it was, uh, this is some of the only evidence we have of, of these trophies. Made of? Well, the, all, the, uh, all the trophies are made of wood, so. Right. And then uh, all the plastic was destroyed, so everything was uh, ruined. This is uh, this is one of my uh, my favourite videos. It's a it's very old very old uh, video, but it's something that reminds me of uh, what I really enjoy to do, you know, on the farm and uh, and with the horses. And uh, it's a very famous Australian uh, movie, very famous Australian story. And uh, you know, it's something really nice. You know, it, it still continues now, even in Australia, up in the, the theme parks. They do like a show in the in this kind of theme, and it's uh, it's really quite an event. So. Um, it's a particular taste, so you need to, to understand it before you can enjoy it. Yeah, well, of course, uh, this, was, this was quite a day. You know, a lot of ups and downs, to be honest, uh, in this day, with, uh, you know, Jorge having the crash in the, in the morning warm-up, and, you know, it was difficult to think that uh, before the race we had a very good chance to win the championship, when before we didn't really think there was an opportunity because Jorge was very consistent, was fast during the weekend and it was going to be difficult to take the championship. But uh, I never dreamed we could do it on that day, on my birthday, uh, with five straight wins. Uh, everything that came together on one day was just something that uh, not many people can, can really uh, appreciate until you, you experience it. And uh, you know, I'm very grateful that I experienced that before the end of my career. All right.
This is it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.